All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today is a Saturday, and that means that we are using zombie vice, you bell. Yes, so none of your bones actors. It's here, but zombie vice is here, so yay. So, of course, zombie vice, it, it runs super vice. So with super vice, I want to actually talk about that card again. I definitely want to talk about that card. Uh, Snatch deal. That card should have never came off the ban list, and at the speed that this play is going, it's probably going to get re-banned because that card is too fucking ridiculous. Like, way, 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 way too fucking ridiculous. Alright, so as you guys know, in the last episode, I did talk about Hidden Armory. You know, you guys remember, some people don't. Some people just completely just, you know, dropped out of their minds that Hidden Armory was a card. And some people aren't even going to consider it being, uh, you know, prevalent. But the problem with Hidden Armory is that... Uh, with the power of Snatch Deal, it just kind of bypasses that. Of course, you know, Hidden Armory. You mill the top card of your deck, you get a equip spell from your uh, hand or graveyard. Ouch. Uh, from your hand or graveyard. Alright, so that's prop. one of those is probably Nova because there would be no reason for him to uh, summon Sham if he didn't have uh, Nova. So, yeah. So, uh,. The game right now that we're playing is how far can I get in this duel before I lose because I'm going to get out resourced and beat my Teller Knights because the game's too fast. You know, the power creep is too fast. The deck outpaces me and I'm going to lose. Now, I'm going to try my best, definitely, but, you know, definitely. Uh, talking about Hidden Armory. So, you melt the card off the top of your deck. You get an Equip Spell card from your graveyard or deck. So, yes, Snatch Steel is searchable from your graveyard or deck so graveyard two so if you already used it get it back again and use it again you can't normal summon or set this turn does it really fucking matter let me go ahead and just play that fucking mill the top cards on deck can't normal summon or set give me your monster give it now you know and, and that's the thing the game is so fucking fast you know like if a burning Mist player makes a freaking I, I i know mega you might if you guys don't if you're not subscribed to uh uh, uh mega capital g you may not know this Please, uh, if you're not subscribed to uh, Mega Capital G, you may not know this, but uh, uh, he talked about it. You know, if you're going, if you're using uh, Burning Abyss, you go first. You uh, you know, play Dante, whatever. You know, uh, you know, of course, you set the back, all right? Uh, you know, a very prevalent card right now. <laughs> For what? <laughs> For catfishing? Now, a really prominent card right now is Denzel Seca. Uh, I will pay the thousand. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this is to um, bait a bayout. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, well, I need summon first. Hello. I didn't even resolve. I didn't even resolve. Alright, I'm gonna go for a little volleyball chain, but I'm not gonna activate its effect yet. I don't know when I got under the end, I got the end right away. Huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dunga Seca is a very prominent card right now, right? So, you know, they have Dante, they're probably gonna set the fire like, yeah, sure. You know how fast this pace this game is going, and the power creep is so fast that that card coming back was probably one of the least productive. Re you know, instead of slowing the game down, they decided to speed it up faster, faster, faster. You know, skill drain at three, Venice at three, sure. But the game is fast, 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 fast pace. OGK, kick your ass, out resource you. Game is fast. You know, I, I think this might be one of the fastest formats that I've ever seen. You know, w when the game gets so fast that you make dragon rulers look kind of slow paced in comparison, that's when you know you kind of have to think, you know. See, I'd say, say I'm so smart because I attacked before. Because if I had activated my fat, he would have totally noved me. But since I didn't activate anything, I couldn't get noved. So that's nice. But I will go ahead and detach for cost. Yeah. Now, if, now if you got noved, it doesn't matter because you don't have any. Unless you know, so go ahead and. But that, wouldn't that be outside the chain? Because if I'm activating my fat and you go like chain call hunted summon, then could you activate? I don't think so. I don't think so. It doesn't sound right to me. But I'm guessing it's fine because he's not really responding with anything. 
Uh, of course, we're going to go ahead and drop the plague, and now we're totally ready to go. We're totally ready to go. But, uh, you know, it's fat. So, you know, usual Burning Abyss plays. When, 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 you, when you can combat the, the top tier deck, the top deck is, you know, it's Burning Abyss. There's pretty much no argument there. I mean, there might be, it's pretty, you know, some people disagree, some people say other things. But it's kind of kind of agreed on. All right, you're clearly trying to activate a Nova on my ass, so I'm not going to play anything at all. I'm just going to attack you. Battle face. Attack. Like I said, you got a Nova. I know you have a Nova. So there's no point in me activating something when you have Tell Knight on the field. That's fine. You know, you top decked into the D prison. That's totally fine. Why did your D prison get banished? <laughs> like, I get banished, not your D prison. Alright, it's pretty obvious that he wants to activate something. Mama Summon. Okay. I'm not going to activate the effect. I'm not going to activate the effect. Because I do not want him to know for me. At all. Go ahead. How strong are you using this army? Stronger than you guys also. Oh, fuck! Nice top deck. And now the duel begins. I thought maybe I could hold out to maybe where he wouldn't get anything, but damn. Fucking top decking. Like, oh my god. Anyway, what was I talking about? So, now the duel has begun. Like, literally, he's gonna beat me at this point. I might as well quit, because at this point, not only did he have the Nova set up, but I, I ran out of time. He's gonna get the Deneb, he's gonna get the, the Ultire, and then he's gonna be able to go off. You know? At this point, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. That sucks, because I wanted to stay in this duel, but shit. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> it's not what I needed. I'm trying to play this duel smart, but it's kind of hard to play. It's kind of hard to play this duel smart when I'm so outclassed. And that's Yu-Gi-Oh. It's power creep. I'm outclassed by Teller Knights completely, completely and utterly. And the, the sad thing is that they're the lower tier of the outclassingness. Anyway, what I was going on about is that, of course, with how fast the deck is, you know, when Byron and Best, you know, they're one of their major plays is making a Dante, summoning whatever, and then, you know, sitting them in the Fire Lake, right? You drop that, uh, one of the best cards right now, and, and you know, there's no surprise that this card's so expensive, is, um, is Denko Saka, definitely. Denko Saka, your opponent, you don't have any back row, your opponent can't play any of their back row, so there is no in-between, you just summon Denko Saka. There's no response or anything unless you got that solemn warning, Denko Saka's hitting the field, right? So, the problem with that is, of course, is that they won't be able to play their Fire Lake, you know? And definitely one of the major decks that's playing Denko Seka, of course, is, um, is, uh, you know, Shadows, right? I have to make zombie rolls. Okay, I'm gonna try to bait out as much as I can the Novas, but I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn up too much resources trying to do this. That's not a problem. The thing is, I can go summon Unizombie, activate Unizombie, and then I'll get nova You know, I'm hoping that because he has Deltoros on the field, he may not want to Nova me as much as, you know, non, a non Ixy. But the problem is, is that Deltoros is going to go off the spec whether he likes it or not. You know, if this card is sent from the field to a graveyard, you can spell someone telling my monster from your hand or deck. So, you know. Whether he know he knows or not, he's still gonna get a plus. So that's what I'm worried about right now. So I'm trying to figure out a way around this situation without getting hit with Nova. So uh, I'm gonna summon Unizombie. Is that okay. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Like I said I know he has Nova. That's the problem. Hold on. All right. Now I'm trying to figure this. Out. Wow. And I lost connection. Did I lose connection? Did he lose connection? I lost connection. Did Dan lose connection? My internet's still good. Hello. Ah, all right. <laughs> well, we don't know the conclusion of that duel, so we are back. All right, sorry for the jump cut there. DN did go down, but it's back. So hopefully we can uh, get another duel in. I could continue my talk. Not rant, but just talk about the stupidity of unbanning Snatch Steel. So, like I said with my whole example, is that the game is so fast that literally you can just crush your opponent with just the speed at which the game is and snatch still doesn't help it just adds fuel to the fire like there need to be any more fuel added to this damn fire but more fuel to the fire what to say like one i'm going first and two how did you summon that token uh, i don't like your humor 
I'm gonna tell you that right now. I don't like it. I'll go ahead and pay the thousand. Go ahead and summon you. Then I'll relay you two in the love wobble chain. Yes. And train will go ahead and send me. Like, dude, shut up. <laughs> oh my god, shut up. Go. Anyway, the game goes so fast, you can literally go, alright, uh, you know, summon Dunkaseka, lock down the back row, go ahead and go ahead and fusion in one fusion, one card, fusion right into a construct, you know, then go ahead, snatch, still take your opponent as Dante. Like, that's, that's so much damage right then and there. Just that is ridiculous, you know? Just ridiculous, you know? And, like I said, freaking, uh, you know, uh, hidden armory, searchable, search. Search the freaking search it, search it, search the freaking card. Ridiculous. Uh huh. So you're probably gonna turn into yep. I knew it was gonna be this deck. Yep. 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 Emerald. Yep. Bring back the dark magician. Yep, 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 that's fine. Can't stop that. Just hoping that you just keep a monster in there for me. Alright, well, I'm back at 8,000 at least. Well, not for long. Okay, I'm about to lose a whole bunch more life points. Yep. I take 7 and 18. So, some background. Book of Life. Okay. Is that alright with you? Or you got some kind of solemn or something? Alright. Okay, banish that. Some no blood. So, you got the bottomless? I will use my normal summon for that. You. Who should I go for? Hot? I'm thinking hot. I'm thinking it's getting hot in here. So I want to take off all my clothes. No. <laughs> I do have a feeling he might have something for me. Feels is a safer play. I was thinking about hot. I, was, I knew he had warning. I knew he did. I kind of knew. And I was kind of like, he probably has a warning. Because this number generator likes to give warning, which means that it's going to be even worse when fucking Snatch Deal comes out. Because that just helps with the number generator. So I draw you Bell and he draws it. That's it. You got it. You got it. Like I said, most of the time, one solemn warning is enough to stop anybody. And, and this game is so fast that one solemn warning and opening up that hole into your... Is just enough to do damage. Like I said, Yu-Gi-Oh! is getting too fucking fast for its own fucking good. You know? So one of the arguments and the reason why people say that Snatch Steel isn't going to be good is because we have MST. What kind of fucking argument is that? I swear to God, like, out of all, out of all people, out of all people, you guys know that I preach that the evidence of abstinence is not the absence of evidence. I preach the fuck out of that, and people still are so ignorant. Yes, MST can snatch, sn stop Snatch Steel. Yes, it can. But that's three. Three. You're probably saying, well, Snatch Steel is at one. Doesn't mean you always have the MST. And keep in mind, we needed M triple MST was mandatory last format. Manda fucking Tory with triple vanities and triple scale drain, mandatory. Triple fire leak, mandatory. You n triple fucking scout, manda fucking Tory. All Snatch did, did was just add a, another fucking card that you had the MST. So all we did was increase the amount of cards that need to be MST, but not the increase the amount of card of MSTs. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Yeah. And one more. You need to put your One more. You need to pitch another fire monster, sir. Sir. Thank you. That's 
swear to God. <sighs> yeah, I'll do it. Book of Life. Okay. So he got Blaster, huh? Well, I'm definitely gonna banish the Blaster. I know he doesn't have any fucking Fire Dragons, so I don't even have to worry about that. It's fucking Battling Boxers, so... I'm guessing it's fine, because he's not even responding. I do have a zombie engraved. I do have a zombie engraved. It's a zombie. You remember where I put him? I do. What are you doing? I have a zombie right here. What are you doing? I banished a monster. Oh my god. Ill blood! Oh my god, ill blood! Right there! Right there on the field! Oh my god! Are you fucking shitting me? He's right there! He's right in the fucking face! He's right there! Oh my god! He's right fucking there! I'm gonna banish this dragon one more fucking time, and if he fucking puts it back, I quit. There's the fucking zombie right there. I just did it. I went Book of Life. Target your blaster. Target my. Yes, it was! <laughs> oh my god! I just summoned it! <sighs> oh god! Wow. Wow. Like, seriously, I just summoned it. I just fucking summoned it. <sighs> Tack. You can go ahead and get your other battling boxer if you want it back. God. Man, I wish I had fucking unit zombie or fucking something to send plague. That's annoying. Now I gotta do with fucking douche make bag pants. Fucking lead blow. Lead the yoke. <sighs> All I need is just one. Just something. Oh, you wanna increase it by a thousand? It's a thousand, right? Not what I need. <sighs> I better not lose this fucking duel. I'm gonna be mad as fuck if I lose this duel. This stupidity. Because I don't draw something to send. I got all the revival in the world. I just need something to send. All I need is some someone or something to send me fucking... Sonar Monk, that, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Back. I said, knowing him, one of them back rows is probably the one that blocks from him being getting countered, I mean, targeted by attaching XC material. I forgot what that one's called. XC's counter, I think that's what it's called. I'm just gonna pitch a swing. So, I'll go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight. Get my effect. I'll go ahead and drop. Definitely Plague. And now we can get this duel started. Should I bait it out? Is it worth baiting it out? That is the question. That is the question. Or should I just make a Lavalbo Chain and send a Mizuki? Might be best just to make a Lavalbo Chain and send a Mizuki. 
No point in targeting him because he probably has that fucking card. What's up with people getting solemn warning today? Like, like I get it, number generator. I fucking get it. I fucking understand. Swing memories. Okay. Like I said, I do not know what's up with... Like I said, the number generator is going to make it worse. So, pretty much, the game is so fast and so high pay. Like I said, you know... So? What's your point? It's shit. Alright. You were normal summon. And? You know, bitch, you don't think I know what I'm fucking doing? Like, shut the fuck up while you're talking to me. That? You already normal summoned. And? Shit. Now I wish I ran Dark End. I took him out for a second Scrap Dragon. I wish I should probably put him back in. Sink. Eight. Fucking just. Ah. Uh, Bills. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm still take 800, though. Okay. Go ahead. Uh... Did you have any other bottom bastard monsters? No, you didn't. Ah, uh, anyway. The game is so fast, you know? Especially, like, in the hands of, like, you know, that Shadals with the baby Chaos Dragons, how fast that deck goes, they'll easily be able to get to it. And if they want to run a Snatch Tail, they can. You know? Like, I, I, you know, mail the top card of my deck, that card's court's gonna get its effects, and they never miss timing, you know? You know, and, uh, you know, go ahead and just take your monster. You no? Know? I can't normal summon, normal summon this turn? No, that's fine. No, that's totally fine. I still got this, so it's it's dumb. It's dumb. It's it's really dumb. <sighs> so he can get butt glass except glass jaw, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna attack the glass jaw first. I think I'm making a scrap dragon, but that thing is stronger than me. It might be better just to make two beals. Yeah. So I'm doom. Yep. Use my normal summon for that effect. Sink eight. Go for another Beals. I'll declare an attack on him. He died automatically. I'll go ahead and kamikaze with him. So you go up to 38, right? Yeah. You go up to 38. If I attack you, I'll go up to 38. But I'll take 800. Which puts me at 900. It's not cowboy range, so I'll take it. Go ahead. Well, you're supposed to be in defense mode, but nice top deck. <sighs> Alright, well, you don't get his effect, and it's only when he's normal summoned. Next scene to 101 and take me? Yep.
Really nice top deck. Gotta give you a gopper's clap for that. No, no. You summon it in track mode. Put it back. You should have thought of that before you fucking did shit like that. You summoned it in attack mode. Road to Kree. Nice. I can use that. Alright. I think I'm just going to take the dual slow. I'm just going to attack the 101. And then next turn I'll make a scrap dragon. Just take your 19 to the ch 900 to the chin. It's not even that hard. You can turn to defense mode next turn. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, the Global Knight of, U of YouTube, yeah, the Global Knight, he came up with another fucking broke-ass card to go with Snatch 2. Another one, that's re fucking ridiculous. Like, Konami was not thinking when they fucking unbanned this card at all. At fucking all. Book of Life. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say, do you do anything? Do you do anything? I'll banish you. Bring back ill blood. Uh, choose my normal summon for effect. Effect, I'll go ahead and bring plague. We'll sink eight right into the scrap dragon. Effect. Oh, the crazy. <sighs> Scrap effect. Target deals and yoke. I knew you were gonna get the bottom list because it's a fucking number generator. So that uh, that didn't even sh fucking surprise me. So free pop on your yoke. So, yeah, another fucking broken card. So, besides Snatch Steel itself and the three fucking... Uh, okay, you're just gonna quit. That's fine. I'm done with this duel anyway. What's my next card? Alright. 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 Uh, besides, you know, the Snatch Steel and the three fucking um, uh, Hidden Armories that you can play. You know, Hidden Armory. No top card for your deck. Search a Equip spell. And uh, you cannot normal summon your set. But that's fine. I'm gonna take my opponent's monster. Pretty much tell they fucking figure out how to get, you know, do with it. Especially depending on what monster you take, you know, which can totally lead to some powerful, powerful case. But now there's another, there's another, another card that uh, the Ignoble Knight of YouTube uh, thought up. And I was like, wow, my jaw just dropped. It's called Swords at Dawn. All right, so let me read it to you. Now think about this. It is a quick play spell. Target one equip spell in your graveyard and one appropriate monster on the field. Equip the equip spell to that monster. Destroy that equip spell during the end phase. If you activate this card, you cannot norm you can you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn. You can only activate one so source per dawn per turn. All right. So it is a quick play fucking equip. So literally during your opponent's turn, they could be going off, getting their play set up, getting ready to do something. And you can just go swords at dawn. I'm gonna equip the snatch to two. Give me your monster to the end phase on your fucking opponent's turn. You know, you, you ban Super Poly because you don't like po your opponent, you know, you ban, Konami ban Super Poly because they don't want you to fucking fuse with your opponent's shit, but then they allow you to take your opponent's shit. Like, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, yeah, that's literally what it does. Yeah. I, I shit you not. That's actually a card. All right. And keep in mind, it's not, it's not, it's not text proof yet. So, keep in mind, if you activate this card, you cannot special summon for the rest <coughs> of the turn. Uh, excuse me. For the rest of the turn. For the rest of the turn. So, like I said, just like how you went fucking, you know, with fucking Spubbles where you just go summon Denko Seka, fusion into Construct, you know, and, you know, the only way you can just go like, all right, well, you know what? I'm done special summoning for the turn. All right, I am going to go ahead and activate Swords at Dawn. Gets, uh... A fucking uh, soul exchange. Take your monster for this turn. Attack, attack, attack. You know, you know. At that point, through Swords of Dawn, now you just turned fucking soul. I mean, you f turned fucking Snatch Deal into fucking Change of the Heart. Change of Heart, which you know people say is arguably more broken than Snatch Deal. But you know, just because of the cards like this and the searchability with fucking um, you know, 
Hidden Armory, and this card... Satchel's way broken. It's way more broken than anything that Call of the Hunter did. Do I think that Call of the Hunter should be unbanned? Totally not. Totally not. It's still... That card still should be banned. But this card shouldn't be banned, unbanned either. This card is just as bad, even worse. So I don't know what Konami was smoking. I hate how Konami's getting into this mentality that just because the way the format is, they can simply just unban cards willy-nilly without even thinking about the consequences or how it's going to affect the game. So instead of addressing the game and slowing it down, hitting skill drain, hitting vanity, slowing the game down, they literally just sped it up to even more of immense proportion and just the sackiness of fucking Snatch Steel. It's so stupid. All right? The th existence of three MSTs does not excuse the fact that Snatch Deal is stu still a real stupid, searchable monster taker. Ridiculous. re fucking ridiculous. Well, so, should it get banned next in, J in April? Definitely. Definitely. I mean, I get it. I get it. Konami wants to, you know, unban all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, see whether it's broken or not, but I, Snatch Deal is broken. Snatch Deal is broken. There is, there is no if and buts about it. It's broken. You know? And so you can go ahead and test it for the next couple of months. You will see. You will see. You know, the people believe that it's not going to be played. It's going to be played. It's a staple. It's a staple. You know, it, it's not like Dark Hole. It's not. It's not like Rigeki. You know, destruction. Destruction in the meta is bad. I understand that. But taking your opponent's monster. When has that ever been bad? When has that ever been bad? Come on. We. Some people were screaming for fucking Big Eye's head. Big Eye's fucking head. Big Eye banned because you could take your opponent's monster. Now, what's the fucking difference? What's the, di what's the fucking difference between Big Eye and Smash Steel? Oh, yeah. Big Eye is harder to summon. So, you know, if we were fucking asking for Big Eye's fucking head, Big Eye banned. Fucking Big Eye went to one in the OCG. If we... Taking monsters is bad. But no, Smash Steel is totally okay. Like, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand what Konami's thinking. And I don't understand what some people are thinking. Snatch Deal is broken. There's no if ands, buts about it. It's broken. It's broken. It's nothing in comparison to Dark Hole and Regeki. Nowhere near a searchable monster taker that you could keep recycling. That's it. So, Snatch Steel itself, three hidden armories, and three swords of dumb. Seven. Seven. I could take your shit seven fucking times. Seven fucking times. Now tell me that ain't fucking crazy. Alright, oh. You summoned the bills? Alright, Snatch Steel, gimme. Oh, oh, you had the MST for it? Oh, oh, okay, alright. Um, Hidden Armory, middle top card of my deck, get Snatch Steel back. Snatch Steel, gimme your bills again, tack you with it again. Alright, oh, 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 you got rid of it again? Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, Swords at Dawn, gimme your bills, game. Like, it, it, it's stupid. It's so fucking just. Oh my god, it's retarded. Like, no, no, I'm sorry, Konami, no. This is this is the worst ban list in history, in his in Yu-Gi-Oh history. The worst, the butts. You fucked up, and you need to acknowledge that you fucked up because you didn't think. You didn't think at fucking all. You know. Fucking, you know. Some people are like, oh, it's only good in the mirror match. No, it isn't. No, does this adult players can take a Dante? There you go. No more fire leg. Done with that. I mean, unless you want to chain. You know. You know, we, you know, Regeki started going up back up in popularity because, you know, you're a burn, the Burning Abyss opponent would, you know, summon Dante, summon the Burning Abyss, set the Fire Lake, and, you know, before you commit anything, you just throw the Regeki at them, right? You just throw the Regeki at them, and sure, their effects would go off, but at least they wouldn't have the monsters to go and hit you with the Fire Lake, right? What's the difference between that and just going, all right, Snatch still, give me your Dante? I think that, that situation's way better, because then you get a fucking Dante, you know? So... It's just dumb. It's just dumb. Dumb. Fucking Klee put, you know? Just give them more of a reason to run fucking Hidden Armory and fucking search for their fucking, um, you know. Why not? Why not? Hidden Armory? You know? The only thing that would suck was that would be them milling. Because depending on what they play, you know? If they mill a monster, then they might only want to play Notre Knights. But, you know, just splash in fucking, uh, you know, three Hidden Armories. And in a fucking snatch deal, along with your sacrifice, you know? Alright, hidden armory. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get me snatch. Alright, hidden armory. I'm gonna go ahead and get me sacrifice, build the top card of my deck. Oh, I can't normal summon or set this turn? Alright, that's fine. Pendulum summon, equip. Like, I, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's fucking retarded. And this card, too. This card, too. Fucking Swords of Dawn. You know? Target Quip spell in your graveyard, equip it to an appropriate monster. Sacrifice, equip it to a monster. Uh, destroy the Quip spell during the end phase. That's fine. Scrap the uh, sacrifice search. You know, it's so fucking stupid. So fucking stupid.
Oh, for the rest of the turn, you can't spend something. Just do it during your opponent's turn. It's a quick play spell. Like, it's fucking just. Oh my god. You know what? We might actually do that for daily duels. So I might change clip plate as soon as, and and do that. I run Snatchdale. I run the fucking that, and I'll just I'll see. I'll see how fucking annoying it is. Cause people are gonna get annoyed as fuck. Cause it's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be annoying. And I'm gonna show. I'm gonna prove that this card should not be unbanned and should be rebanned. Emergency ban. It should have never been unbanned. It should be emergency rebanned. Stupid. So, when Kleeput time rolls around again, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and change around the deck and I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, it sounds like fun, right? Let's go ahead and do it. <sighs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So, tell me what you guys think about Snatch Deal. Alright, this is the second day in a row that I had to rant about it because I've literally used two decks that run, you know, equip spells and it's broken. You know? You know Noble Knights, you know? Fucking Shadals, I mean, Shadals, they're getting that fucking Neth, Neth fusion. That's an equip spell, so that that has synergy, you know? It, the game, the game, it, it's falling apart. It's crumbling. It's crumbling. It's really just, wow. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of, uh, of Vlad and Y. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using uh, Shadali Bell. Yeah. That should be fun. Alright, thanks for watching.